All right, we're here on the uh, the first day of Operation Dragoon ride. Uh, we we left uh, Tapa Training Area this morning about 7:30 in the morning, and we're uh, in route back to uh, Rose Barracks, which will will we'll arrive on the first of April. Well, Dragoon Ride's a culminating event for us. We've been uh, up here training since January, uh, not only in Estonia but in Lithuania and Latvia and Poland. So I got I got forces spread out uh, those four countries, and uh, as an opportunity to to redeploy uh, a different way, not, not using rail or or, or air. Uh, we, we made the decision to, to ground convoy back and doing a tactical road march. I think the, uh, the big message is that the, the, the squadron and the, and the 2nd Cavalry Regiment, uh, a part of USER, is ready. Uh, we can move uh, great distances pretty quickly and also that we have the, uh, you know, we're reassuring all of our allies that, that we can work together. Uh, we're, we're here for them and uh, we just want to introduce ourselves as, as we have these engagements uh, over the uh, next 11 days to get, to get get out there and get to know people. Yeah, so, so today's been great. We spent about four, hour, four or five hours on the road. Uh, we had a couple different stops in between with our other two platoons and we're here in, in Parnu now. And, uh, you know, people out waving, taking pictures, uh, nothing, nothing from, from our perspective, but uh, of, of happy people, good, happy to see us. Oh, it's, it's a lot, it's been crazy uh, the whole way here. People just been stopped on the side of the road, waving, you know, peace sign. It was just, it was just crazy, a lot of cheering on the way here. It makes me feel really good uh, that we just, we're not alone, we're here together, we're working together. There is a lot of worry, I mean, not only from Estonians, but also the expats here in Estonia that there is a potential for maybe Russia to come or other other countries that not not only Russia but it it gives the local population a lot of support I think mental mental support which they need because I mean Estonia's had the independence for roughly twenty years and we don't want to lose it. But what what's happening in Ukraine a lot of people are worried about what could potentially happen, but I think uh, Estonia being part of NATO is takes away that, that fear factor because I don't think uh, with NATO backing that whether Russia comes here, I think that's something they would think twice about. I worry about Russia. Russia uh, angry. NATO, no problem. <laughs> NATO, no problem. NATO is okay. Uh, we are a little bit worried uh, about Russia. Yeah. Do you feel safer being in NATO though? Yeah, it's uh, more safe.